Yo guys, and welcome back to a another video. As you can see, this is a bit of a different video to normal, and it's pretty late. Yeah. But anyway, welcome to the Danby White official cameraman competition. It is official. We have this going underway. We have two entries to get through today. And we're going to go ahead and get through both two entries in this video. Um, I did get quite a few more entries. Like, yeah, I got a couple more entries. So, um, I know it's going to take me a little bit to get through the two entries in this video. And it's going to take me a bit to sort of react to them and talk about them. So... I'm going to split this video into two parts, so part two will be coming very, very soon. Hopefully it is a little bit more professional than this. I mean, I literally just chucked on a random t-shirt and decided to do this video. I mean, I had it planned for a while, but I wanted to get it out pretty quickly, so I'm doing this right now. Yeah. Um, but no, before we go ahead, um, hit the subscribe button. We're trying to get to 100,000 subscribers on this channel. We are going to be growing very, very quickly, very, very soon. We've got some great content on the way. As, I mean, this video kind of shows, we are looking for a cameraman. So, yeah, basically, competition, um, last person standing will obviously win. I mean, that's uh, no two ways about it. So we will come out of this competition with a cameraman, official cameraman for the WIT official YouTube channel, which I think is pretty cool. I'm not going to lie. It's pretty cool to actually be investing into a cameraman now because I feel like I just need somebody to hold the camera. Um, it's cool having it on a tripod and all, but I just, I just need somebody to move along and be like, like, if I was going to walk out here, obviously, you can't see me because the camera's, like, literally st static there. And this is literally the only good shot, so I've got to kind of stay in this position where I can't, like, show you things around and stuff like that. But no, um, in a couple of days, I'll do part two and the ending of this, what I'm going to call phase one. So we've got two parts for phase one. We've got this video and the next video, and then the third video will be the decider. We'll eliminate one person from this competition, and then we'll go on to phase two, and then basically just work it from there. So phase one is under is under wraps, guys. And I have my first entry right here on my phone to watch and react to with you guys. So we're just going to go ahead, buckle up, and get into this. But yeah, don't forget to subscribe. We're trying to literally hit 100k subscribers as soon as possible on this channel, so I'd appreciate it if you could subscribe. Anyway, let's go. I should probably count you guys in. 3, 2, 1. Okay, this is looking pretty cool so far. I don't... I want to cut the music here. I don't know whether it's copyrighted or not, but... I just don't want to get copyrighted on this video. So yeah, we're looking pretty good. There's obviously um, multiple characters here in this one. Looks like some kind of short film or something. I mean, there's camera movement too. So, I mean, they're getting like, like different pans and stuff, which is pretty cool too. See, like here, them panning up and around, rather than just doing like a static shot. 
which is what I'm looking for, really. You know, somebody who can pan the camera, somebody who can, you know, get, you know, moving shots rather than just static shots. But yeah, this, this is looking pretty good so far. I mean, obviously it's not going to be finished product too. Like, we can obviously train people up to do camera work, but it would be better if they already knew, like, skills and stuff, which is proving pretty good here so far, so... There's plenty of cuts too, and music on this, so, I mean... We could be looking for an editing position too at some point in the future, but... I don't know, I'm looking just for cameraman so far, so... This escalated very quickly. Freaking Superman. <laughs> Some good low angles too. There's quite a lot of high angles in this video though. 100%. And this text on this too, that's pretty good actually, you know. So, so there's almost like a good beginning, middle and end, so there's almost like um a So yeah, that's pretty much the end of the video. But yeah, so there's like a beginning, middle and end to that. Um so obviously they have an understanding of narrative. Um obviously that was supposed to be a short film too, which I think is pretty cool. Um, I like that people are obviously not just doing random shots, like, they, they decided to add a story to this too, which is very, very cool. It shows the ability of storytelling as well, which, you know, I, I'm i looking for a cameraman, camera woman, or camera person, but I'm also looking for somebody who can help me with ideas as well. Like, you know, we could have the next biggest film coming in, and I could need, like, multiple camera people. Um, but yeah, no, I can need multiple camera people for that. So that's something that I would 100% need. Um, so, yeah. So, first of all, I've got to say, definitely good impressions. We haven't started off with anything bad, which is definitely a good start. It shows that my audience does have some level of talent. <laughs> And people who are, who are actually, you know, putting in for this competition are actually serious about, you know, serious about showing a good piece for the video, which I'm actually pretty happy with. So, yeah, definitely a good first one to kick this off with. So, I don't see this becoming very, very hard to pick people. But I don't know. Maybe somebody will shine. Maybe somebody will shine. I guess time will tell. So yeah, overall I've got to say, the shots were nice, um, there was some camera movement in there which was very very good, um, a mix of high shots and low shots, there was quite a lot of high shots in there, like, but I think because they were using like smaller mini figures, um, that's kind of hard to, you know, get a low shot on that, like, you'd have to literally be on the ground pointing up. Um, and I'm guessing that was filmed on a phone as well, not like a camera, so it's quite hard to get it like properly and do movement on that too. It's, so yeah, it's definitely a good job um, for this first um, one. So yeah, definitely rate that very, very well. And yeah, so we're going to go ahead and get into the second, the second entry right now. So we are back. And I just pulled up the second video right here on my phone. But before we actually get into this, I just want to mention that the videos and the channels will be linked down in the description. So yeah, please go ahead and check out and support the creators that actually entered into this competition. Like, I can't stress this enough, like, people have actually put time into these videos and... Like actually like put effort into these videos and I think they are like super super cool so go ahead and check out the channels down below of these creators subscribe like the videos etc um but now we're gonna go ahead and go on to the second one 
Um, so, yeah, they'll be listed down in the description, too. So this is the second one. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and watch it in three, two, one, and go. Prime Hydration, the recent UK drink created by Logan Paul and KSI, has been taken the UK by storm, with queues round the block selling it out with every restock. If you are willing to get your hands on this Prime, all I can say is good luck. Now, this is cool that even like using different like shots and stuff like from like a news broadcast point of view, like I think that's pretty cool. Gonna do that. Well, they've actually gone on and used like so many different types of shots in this already, like close-ups, you know, you know, ex you know, extreme wide shots to show the landscape, etc. It's so cool. Over the shoulder shots there, you know. You should draw that. What do you think? Yeah. Yeah? It would be an amazing thing to draw on Yeah. There's a two shot right You're there. The yeah. Mm -hmm. Again, more close ups. I really like the concept too. I think it works very, really cool. It looks like they've gone for like a film slash skit type video, which is pretty cool Wait, to go what's for. That thing over there? Huh? It's something kind of up behind that tree. Really? I can't tell what. We should investigate. Okay. Oh my god. Okay. This is weird. What if, what if it's just something random and weird, but I don't know. Anyway, it's worth looking. Yeah, they go and investigate behind the tree. It's like drugs or something. <laughs> no, I'm not condoning drugs. Definitely not. That's so cool, there's like so many different shots, like they've actually thought this through, which is good because it looks like, you know, I'm looking for somebody who can really, really think on the spot about what kind of shots that I will need for a video and, you know, just going ahead and doing it, especially for like films as well, like that's one thing that I will be looking for. This might be literally the only chance we ever had to get one. Yeah, it's selling out everywhere and there's one right what is it? I don't know, that's kind of scary. Because it could be poison. <laughs> but, cool display piece? I guess. I love that there's like different angles on the shots too. I think some of them, like low angle shots, some of them high angle shots. Again, you can tell that they put time into this. <laughs> I love this plot twist, by the way. I think it's really, really cool. Yeah, no, I, I really like that plot twist at the end. And uh, that is the second video over and done with. Um, so yeah, second video I've got to say. You know, this is quite a hard one. But I think I'm... I might be digging one of the videos a little bit more than the other. But I'm I'm gonna save that for the third video because I we have we still have like three more entries to actually do. Like three more entries to get through. So I've seen two of them. We haven't even seen half of the entries yet, so it's too early to be trying to make any decisions, but the first two are very good. Um I'm not gonna lie, this is definitely making it hard to decide for this competition. Which one is the best? And I can only pick one of these guys to be the brand new WYT official camera man slash woman slash person slash microwave slash Brussels sprout. Brussel T. Davis. Doctor Who. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, no, if I had to say overall, 
Um, they showed in the second one that they can use lots and lots of different types of shots, static, moving, um, they can edit obviously pretty decently too, like they did the whole, um, they did the whole news, news scene, which I think turned out really, really good, um, obviously they green screened that in, and I think that actually turned out pretty much perfectly, and I'm... I think that's actually pretty cool that they can do that kind of stuff. Obviously, that can really help with films too. Um, you know, if we need to do something on green screen, if we need to edit our background, that can possibly happen. And you know, they could actually do that. Now that's now that's a very very good thing. Um, and obviously, um, you know, from shots to editing, everything is pretty much perfect in that one um, in terms of what we're looking for um, so that makes it definitely very very hard um, to decide um, but no they're basically the two entries that we're going to be doing in today's video so if you enjoyed it smash a like on the video comment down below who which video did you think was better the first one or the second one go ahead comment that down below right now um, you know, who knows, the comments might actually help me decide and pick on one camera person for the video. So, I mean, go ahead and comment down below which one you actually thought was better. Um, also, subscribe to the channel. Keep up to date with all of these videos. and uh, Keep up to date with the competition. And, you know, all the videos in general. We're trying to hit 100,000 subscribers as soon as possible. So, yeah, please hit that subscribe button. I would appreciate it a lot. And, yeah. This is, this is a pretty good start, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> but no, we're going to see what we have next in store for, these, for the part two of this video. And then the decider. But yeah, part two should be coming out very, very soon. So yeah, comment, like, and subscribe. Links are down in the description to the channels. Go ahead and support them. Um, I would really, really appreciate it if you guys could support the channels and the videos. Um, and yeah, thanks for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.